Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to it is Sunday for me and I just decided I wanted to vlog today because we are going to be going out. We're going to be just shopping around a little bit. I really don't have an agenda except for <laughs> number one and first and foremost my hair is going to get a little haircut and I'm not doing anything drastic. I'm just getting my ends trimmed. My hair has been feeling so like dry and I do deep conditioning masks all the time. Like I do everything I can and it's just the weather has been so crazy. Um, it needs a little refresh. So I booked a haircut and I booked a uh, blowout because I just need a little, I just need a little confidence boost for my hair because it is, it is not doing like it just, to me, it just does not look good. It's dry through here. Anyways, um, I have dyed my hair before I've gotten blonde in it before. Um, I used to be like this is my natural color and I'm trying to go back to that as much as possible now when it's healthier and when it's better I might you know consider adding a little more blonde into it like a you know like a darker blonde I don't know but for right now I can tell you all I'm doing is trimming it and getting a nice blowout because like I said I just came to the point the other day I was like you know what I need to book this I'm tired of my hair anyways and then I need to go to Ulta and get a couple of my makeup essentials and maybe just look around for some last minute Easter things. Um, I also need to go grocery shopping, but I, that just doesn't sound like the top thing to do, but I need to do it. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is we're going to have a fun vlog today, but first and foremost, I need coffee. I really need coffee, but I think I'm going to wait until after. Um, my hair is done just so like you know it's not sitting in the car because i want iced coffee anyways let's get the show on the road okay so actually our first stop <laughs> this is this is actually really comical so the other day i came into walgreens to grab some claritin because the allergies outside the seasonal allergies have been kicking my butt anyway so i walked down the seasonal aisle and they had this sweet little bigfoot look how cute I used to collect all the Bigfoot Squishmallows. I used to go on so many Squishmallow hunts. Um, so I only really get them now, you know, when um, when one is like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And this was one I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Well, um, my mom, it, I had it sitting in my room and my mom went and looked in my mirror yesterday and she was like, uh, can I tell you something? And I'm thinking, oh my God, she saw a bug. Oh my God, she's seeing like a leak, like something's wrong. I'm like, yeah, mom. She's like, um, that, that little Bigfoot, she's like, you have one in your Easter basket. She said, I thought I was being slick because, um, I know you don't like buy them for yourself very often. And like, um, I know that like, you don't, you know, go in Walgreens per se too often. She was like, so I was so slick and I thought I was getting you one. And um, so she was like, so, uh, happy Easter, I guess. So she went ahead and told me there was one in my Easter basket. And I told her, I was like, well, I'd rather have the one that like you gave me. So I'll just return this one. Cause I still have the receipt. Um, but look how cute. Anyways, I'm going to go return this and then I'm going to go check on, um, taco, which is my dad and I's bird. He stayed of course at my dad's when I moved out to my apartment. Um, but my dad is on a trip right now. So um he needs i'm gonna go check on him so we're gonna do that after i return the bigfoot hey buddy he's my baby hiya how are you you got fresh food and water yes you do my dad left on cartoons for him so i'm not sure what is playing so we don't know but you're listening to something he said it was cartoon network when he left do you change the channel did you? Okay, you guys, it is now the time of day. I have been waiting for the most. Uh, it is time to get my hair revamped, a little tender loving care, if you will. Uh, this is what she's looking like before, and I'm just, like I said, getting it trimmed so it's healthy, and uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna get a blowout, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I'm like 15 minutes early, but I'm gonna go ahead in and see if you know they can take me early. If not, I'll sit there, but anyways, um, I am very ready for this. So a little before I really cannot wait. 
let's go. Oh, it is a thousand percent better. So I ended up getting a treatment on it too, which is like a deep conditioner treatment, but they put you under the dryer. Um, so it like sets into the actual um, strands of hair. So I think uh, the lady who did my hair was the nicest like um, I am so excited and so like glad that she did my hair um, oh my gosh it feels so much better so I just did a trim it looks a lot shorter um, but you know what it needed it and it feels flowy and it feels so healthy when somebody else washes your hair and like does your hair it just automatically feels better i don't know what the deal is with that because like i wash my hair every other day um but i don't know it's just something about somebody else doing it anyways i'm glad i did that um and now we are going to duncan there is just no ifs ands or buts that is our next stop and then i think i'm gonna go to marshall's and maybe petco because i need to get jasmine um a little a little couple things for easter and then um i also want to go in marshall's over here because i don't go to this one very often anymore and just see if they have anything different so that's what we're gonna do but first duncan like i am in need of duncan <laughs> Hi, can I just have an order of hash browns and also a medium caramel ice latte? Alright you guys, so I am having my little picnic right now. So I ended up getting a caramel ice latte. I don't know why. I literally just sometimes I want a caramel ice latte. But most of the time I just get like my medium iced coffee with um, a flavor in it. But those hash browns, mmm. So... I was sitting in my car, doors locked, and uh, I had parked, and this man is in the parking spot across from me that didn't have a car in it, just literally walking in a circle, like a tight circle, and like staring at me and smiling at me, so you know what I did? I moved my vehicle, because what? Guys. All I can tell you is please be so aware of your surroundings. Like, you have to be. It's so sad that we have to be so aware, but people are just, I don't know. If your heart is telling you something's creepy, listen. Listen to yourself. Don't think. Just tell yourself to take those measures that you need to feel safe. Because nothing amounts to safety. That's what I have to say. That's my little, not rant, but I don't know. Just be safe. So, um, anyways, <laughs> there's a huge trash bag in my back seat now because I took the rest of my Squishmallows from my dad's. I had some that were like my seasonal ones in a, in a big bin upstairs. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take them, sort through them. Because I've been sorting through stuff lately. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take this, the rest of my seasonal ones. But anyways. um, The coffee's a slay. Rachel approved. I've got my Duncan in me. So that means it's time to go. I think I'll go in Petco first and see if I can find any like little Easter toys for Jasmine. I found her a little owl and it was from Target, but I just want to get her a little something more. I might just end up getting her a thing of treats. I'm not sure. We'll we'll find out together. But anyways, you guys, let's let's go shop a little bit. Just you and me. <laughs> They're playing Willow in Petco. Bag secured for the kitty. All right, I'm in Marshall's now, AKA my happy place. And look at this cute art necklace. Oh my God, it's adorable. Guys, they have the cutest PJ sets right now and I love the short sets. They have this one and I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. And then they have this one, which looks like what Taylor was wearing in my Polaroid that she took. 
I'm very tempted. Guys, they have the prettiest like sets right now. I am obsessed with the cherry blossom print. Like if they had these in glasses, I would 100% get them. But oh my God, they're so gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so I, I'll show you what I got for Jasmine, which is my cat. Um, I got her a couple toys as if she needs more toys. Are they all over my floor? Yes, but what's two more, right? I got her this little hummingbird and she loves little things like this. Um, and it has a little crinkle to it, but not too much. And then I did get her a little lamb chop. I've never seen them for cats. I thought this was more for dogs, but they make it with catnip. My cat is not the biggest on catnip. However, you know, I thought it was cute and maybe she'll change her mind at 15 years old. You know, she acts like she's a kitten. Like when I tell people I have like a 15 year old cat, they're like, oh, like, you know, she must be slowing down. Like, no, like she, of course she sleeps a lot. She's a cat, but like she is so kitten in my mind anyways um okay so in marshall's i behaved so well i was picking up things and then putting them down um emma and i have this thing going on like right now called taste restriction now this is just our thing like we're like don't overspend taste restriction like we know um we just want to like have you know extra money for like the tortured poets department weekend and then like um you know, just like things coming up. And so we're like, you know what? Taste restrictions. So we're being like, you know, mindful of what we buy extra. Um, so these, however, were too cute to pass up. Uh, look at these little napkins. They're little kitties and like they're, I couldn't, they look so vintage and so cute. And then I did see this at the cash register or in the line, you know, they always get you. They always freaking get you in line at uh, at Marshall's. So they had this manicure set with a travel case. And so it comes with two nail clippers, nail scissors, tweezers, nail file, cuticle pusher, and then it had the travel case, which I am gonna need coming up in shortly. Yep. So, uh, so I just decided why not, why not get things while I see them? It's a good thing to have. So I could justify that anyways, you guys. So now we're going to go to Ulta and we're going to get my makeup products and probably go wander around five below because they always have good seasonal stuff and I absolutely love. And you know what? These people in the car next to me are fully sitting there and I'm just chatting away to you guys. So you know what? That that is what you call um getting used to vlogging in public so anyways let's go so i have had my vault playlist going today like all of taylor's vault songs are on this playlist and let me just say something i have something to say i personally think that the best vault song from 1989 is slut I said what I said. I am obsessed with that song. Guys, like that song itches my brain so well. Like I can't stop thinking about that song for one second. Like her voice is heavenly. Like everything about that song is so dreamy and heavenly. Like I'm sorry. I think it's my favorite. It's definitely my favorite 1989 Vault song. It's so freaking good. And then from Red, I feel like Forever Winter, Speak Now is definitely timeless. And then fearless i'm gonna go with don't you like i feel like i can definitely pick solidly like my stand songs like i always whenever taylor drops like her version i always end up having a new stand song i love all of taylor's songs but don't get me wrong i do have my stand songs so there you go there are my vault stand songs um now you know um i can't wait to see what reputation and taylor swift have um in store for me when they come out but for now the tortured boats department so soon you guys oh my god it's literally so soon oh my god okay we're like in the 20s we're in the 20s guys like we're getting so close anyways um this caramel latte is just chef's kiss i'm gonna go in ulta and get my makeup and then we're gonna go in five below it looks like chaos over here i'm gonna be honest um, and I've also decided I'm going to get myself kava for lunch. It is, uh, 2.25. How about a late lunch? <laughs> but, um, I'm going to get myself kava because kava is like chef's kiss. And I thought about getting a sub. I love firehouse subs, 
but like I want to drive home and eat like I don't want to just like park and eat like I want to go home and eat and I feel like kava would hold up better on my drive I don't know I don't know if anybody else is like that but anyways cream sickle jelly beans oh my god oh I've got to get some that sounds so yummy um these are pretty good too they're welches they're really good oh so one thing about me is when I go into like Ulta, I I am on a mission. I don't know why I like never look around Ulta, but I did see some new makeup products like when I was by the makeup products that I was going after. And like, I don't know if anybody's ever used like the CoverGirl concealer. It was like in a black and white tube. And then also they had a uh, CoverGirl Clean and Fresh. I've never used that before, but I'm like, hmm. I don't know for summer I feel like I want like a lighter makeup like right now I'm not wearing any foundation I'm just wearing concealer but I got my morphe bacon set my morphe mini continuous setting mist and then I also got my Maybelline magic eraser so that is what I got from there and then I got in five below it was chaos I'm so sorry I was planning to vlog uh, but there were a lot of like little kids running around and like it was just sheer chaos So I did get a pack of Welch's jelly beans for my mom and I for next weekend And then I got two packs of the creamsicle jelly beans um, One for my dad's Easter basket and one for me <laughs> So, uh, you know, I have to taste test them I have to make sure that they're okay for his consumption That's what he always used to tell me as a kid Like if I ordered something and he wanted a bite of it He was like but I have to make sure it's okay for you. My grandpa said that to me a lot too, but it was just funny. Anyways, now I think, I think it's time to go to Kava and I think it, then it's time to go home, at least take a break from being out. Uh, it's just chaotic and you know, maybe I should have considered this weekend before Easter, but I keep forgetting that Easter's so early. Anyways, um, so, so I'm gonna go to Kava and get Kava and then maybe go home, watch some YouTube. And then I really do wanna go to Aldi. I have like just the desire to go to Aldi. Um, however, my reusable bag is also at home. So that's a solid excuse to go home and eat lunch and then go back out. But I saw somebody eat like spinach ravioli or something like that from Aldi. And I was like, that sounds so good. And I'm at the like point where I'm kind of like tired of like making and eating the same things. And I'm like, you know what? I want something new. So I really do want to go to Aldi. We just, we're going to need a little pit stop and a break from the chaos outside. <laughs> like it's chaos today. She's beauty. She's grace. I cannot wait to eat kava. I have not had kava in a minute. I am so excited to sit down and eat my kava. So I get a greens and grains bowl with um, the honey harissa chicken, corn, um, hummus, and cucumber. Sometimes I'll do avocado, wasn't feeling it. Um, and then the lemon herb dressing and I, chef's kiss, I cannot wait to eat. So I'm gonna do that and chill out for a bit and then probably I will probably go to Aldi because I was just telling my mom on my way home. I was like, I'm so tired of eating the same things. She's like, yeah, I get the same way. So anyways, I have it in my head that I'm going to go, but I just need to like reset and like chill out for a bit. So we're going to do that. So I am at Aldi now and I am so excited to go in. Um, I did stop at Duncan on my way. Um, I was craving a Duncan sweet tea and I stopped, you know. I stopped so I'm so excited to go in and see what they have um, I have not been in Aldi in a hot second and guess who walked out of the house without a reusable bag I just thought about it me hi oh my god all right well let's go in guys I found it I feel like it's mission accomplished stop it that made me so happy so I just browsed all the aisles, but I was in the checkout line and the girl in front of me was wearing a Speak Now cardigan. And I was like, oh my God, I love your cardigan. And she's like, thank you so much. We were walking out and she was like, by the way, I just noticed your sweatshirt. I love your sweatshirt. And we were talking about how like when people in public notice the cardigans, it's like when you know, you know, kind of thing. Um, so anyways, 
if I sound out of breath, I am because <laughs> uh, I got a bag full of stuff and trust me, I'll do a little haul. That was a lot of fun. We've returned home once again and I am in for the night now. I am so excited because I found some really good things. I wanna do a little Aldi haul for you guys. Um, okay, when I tell you, uh, this bag is full to the brim. Uh, I did the smart thing and before I left, I actually went through my entire fridge, freezer, and purged, you know, just like old stuff or, you know, half open things. Anyways, my point is, she is ready, if you will, for these groceries. And I did that so it wasn't mass chaos. I got some sharp cheddar cheese. I got five bananas, because I like to have, where'd the other one go? Help, I swear I know I got five. Anyways. Some bananas, because I love to have a good banana in the morning. Um, I got some trail mix, almonds, cashews, and pineapple. I love cashews. They're one of my favorite snacks. So I decided, you know what, let me get the trail mix with it. So, and then I got, this was a three cheese chicken, and it said it had like three servings in it, so that'll last me. And then I got a, is that? No, it's dirt. Okay, we're good. Um, then I got some peppers because I like to cut them up and eat them for a snack. And I got some apples. Ooh. These I saw at checkout. They looked really good. They're Easter cookies, but they're Belgian chocolate. Yum. So I got those. I got some Parmesan grated cheese. I got pepperoni pizza bowl this looked insanely good um let's see i got granola i got milk i got dawn dish soap because mine's almost out i got some gum cherry tomatoes grapes <gasps> i found the other banana Hello? Okay. Uh, and <laughs> what is this? I got mushroom ravioli, portobello mushroom. Oh my God, that sounds insanely good. I got ricotta and spinach ravioli, a tortellini, and another thing. Oh, some, oh no, it's a sticker. And the uh, another one of the spinach ravioli, because I have a feeling I'm going to love that. And then just some good old mixed greens. So that's what I got from Aldi. I'm gonna put everything away, organize everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys so much. Thank you just for letting me share my life and truly vlogging is so fun for me. Um, it's just like, come along with me and hang out with me and uh, it really makes my day. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope this video entertained you in some way and we're just getting so close to Tortured Poets and trust me, I am cooking with the ideas for videos so stay tuned and I love you guys and I hope to see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.